plastic pollution, overfishing and acidification put immense pressures on our world's oceans. While the oceans remain our lifeline in so many ways, adverse human impact has become increasingly alarming. We need to respect the oceans and take care of them as our lives depend on them. Here are a few simple things we can all do every day to help reverse the trend against our planet's oceans and marine life. Even if you haven't seen the disturbing viral video with the injured sea turtle, you know plastic straws are bad. According to the World Economic Forum, by 2050, the ocean will contain more plastic than fish pound for pound. Plastic straws are too lightweight to be easily recycled. So they become trash and often end up in the ocean, polluting the water and eventually killing seabirds, marine animals and fish. Microbeads, a common ingredient in cosmetic and household products. The problem with microbeads is that they are incredibly small. So small in fact that most wastewater treatment facilities can't filter them out. The only way to stop microbeads from poisoning our rivers, lakes and oceans is to stop them entering delicate marine ecosystems in the first place. Avoid products with ingredients such as polypropylene, polyethylene and nylon as these are the most common plastic microbead materials. Whether wild or farmed, shrimp are environmental nightmares. For every pound of wild caught shrimp, 10 to 14 pounds of bycatch is dumped back into the sea. Trawling is the most widely used method of wild shrimp fishing and decimates everything in its path, destroying ecosystems down to the baseline. Farmed shrimp aren't any better. Across Asia and Latin America, mangroves are cleared to pave the way for shrimp farm development. A 100 gram shrimp cocktail represents an astonishing 198 kilograms of carbon dioxide from the loss of mangroves, the equivalent of burning 340 litres of gasoline. As with all apex predators, the bluefin tuna plays an important role in maintaining the health of our ocean's ecosystem. With the species on the brink of extinction, it is our duty to hold restaurant owners and corporations who contribute to the extinction of the species accountable. Seafood will likely be off the menu by 2048 or sooner. But what are we doing about it exactly? According to a recent report by the WWF, more than 85% of global fish stocks in our oceans are at significant risk of illegal, unreported and unregulated fishing. If you can't live without fish, at least eat less. Choose species which aren't on the decline and opt for fish caught on rod and reel, as opposed to trolling and long lines. It can be tempting to want to decorate your house with beautiful pieces of coral, sea fan or sponges. But we all know these items belong in the ocean. It's easy to find good underwater photography which can just as easily be displayed in your home. Some sunscreen brands, which claim to be reef-friendly, surprisingly contain two common ingredients. Benzophenone, also known as oxybenzone, and octanoxate. These ingredients are known to cause complete coral bleaching in very low concentrations and should be avoided. Although, Marine Park may claim educational value in captive displays. Captive whales and dolphins do not represent their wild counterpart. In reality, visitors to these places and dolphin shows often leave miseducated that dolphin and whales are meant to entertain us, which is far from being true. The very nature of these animals makes them uniquely unsuited to confinement. In the wild, Whales and dolphins live in groups, often in tight family units. No one can debate that cruises are a great bang for your buck. However, before you book your next cruise holiday, consider that the average seven-day cruise with 3,000 people disposes of 210,000 gallons of sewage, 
130 gallons of hazardous waste, 25,000 gallons of oily bilge water and 1 million gallons of grey water into the sea. One cruise ship emits as many air pollutants as 5 million cars on the same distance. Since a lot of what goes down the drain end up in our rivers and streams, we should be mindful of the chemicals in our cleaning products. Opt for products with eco-friendly labels or make your own. Do you like to snorkel or scuba dive? Encouraging others to explore the ocean with you is a great way to promote a true appreciation of it. At the end of the day, we only protect what we love. Becoming an ambassador for the ocean starts with you.